I'd like to introduce you to Joe Pena of Garden City Ammonia Program. Today he's going to help us out with some communication signals for an emergency response team and emergency responders. Uh, the whole es essence of emergency planning response is effective communication, all the way from instant command to decon to medical to two in and two out on the first responders team. Effective radios and communications will be a, a line of strategy, but it cannot be something that we can always rely on. If I want to communicate to my buddy quick, fast, effectively, and efficiently, a simple yes is a thumbs up. A simple no will be a thumbs down. If we want to stop action, we'll have a closed fist up in the air at shoulder height. If my buddy wants to tell me, let's leave now, he will actually slice his fingers across his throat, and he will point in a direction of where we may go. Uh, if we want to go this way, you will point to your buddy, you'll point to yourself, and then point into the direction of where we may need to go. Uh, if you want your buddy to look in a certain direction, you'll point at your eyes and then point in the area of concern. If you want to leave the room, or if it's time to leave, point to your wrist and show we got to go. And then if we need anything in communication about the monitoring devices that we may be using, and we're above limit, we're over limit, we'll point to our monitoring devices, we will cut our throat, and we will say it's time to go. And last but not least, especially when you're wearing an SCBA, if you're running out of air, your timer's out, your bell's going off, or you're having a problem breathing, we need you to hold your throat, and then it'll be time to go. We hope that this effective communication strategy is something that if your facility hasn't implemented yet, y'all create your own signals for effective communication, practice and plan it for proper emergency response.